Welcome to the 2025 cold calling strategy session. I'm gonna be breaking down exactly what I'm doing and I see this to be the smartest and most efficient way to run a listing business. This video is the next step and the evolution to the 2024 cold calling strategy. It's the natural next step and progression in the growth and design of the business that I'm creating. And by the end of this video, you're gonna understand exactly how I'm going to be designing this business so that you can take the structure of what I'm building and build it for yourself too. Because let's be honest, Cold calling fucking sucks. I don't wanna keep doing this forever. And to grow a large business, you need to start delegating low level tasks so that you can focus on the higher level tasks, the tasks that pay you the largest amount of money. So let's get started with this diagram right here. The classic agent routine. There are four components and parts to make money as a real estate agent in terms of getting listings. Buyers are the same way too, but for listings, the agent needs to lead generate in whatever fashion. You could do paid ads, you could do door knocking, you could do cold calling. To me, cold calling is one of the most efficient ways to generate seller leads. After you generate the lead, then you have to follow up with them. The likelihood of you setting an appointment off that first contact with that lead is very, very low. So you need to follow up. A natural part of following up is to set an appointment and go to that appointment. This is where you're gonna convince the homeowner or the seller to work with you. And once the listing agreement is signed and the listing goes live, the agent needs to fulfill the transaction. So you need to input all the home data into the MLS. You need to make sure all the paperwork and documentation is in order. You basically become the seller's therapist. You have to make sure open houses are okay. You need to make sure the marketing is okay. You need to negotiate the offers. You need to sit the inspection, make sure all the all the timelines are good. You need to fulfill and close the transaction. Now, the problem with all this is that the real estate agent typically does all of this. And if you've had several pendings, you know that when you have a bunch of fulfilled transactions, these other three parts of your business start to get negatively affected. Like when you have too many appointments or when you have too many pendings, you don't have the time to lead generate and follow up as much. And then when you're not lead generating and following up as much and you close out all the pendings that you have, then you have no transactions to fulfill, your pipeline is dry, and you need to start lead generating and following up again to create the pendings like you previously had. This results in a very unbalanced use of your time. You're stuck being the janitor and the CEO of your business, and this is not a great way to run it. So the natural next step in your business is to start to consider creating a listing machine. You're running a business. And if you're running a business, you need to run your business like a business. So you need to start delegating the low level tasks to other people. This is stage one of the listing machine. There are three stages to a fully operating listing machine. This last year in 2024, I've been experimenting around with the stage one of the listing machine. I found an ISA, an inside sales agent, AKA a cold caller, that I hired from the Philippines for $6 an hour. I hired my first ISA to start lead generating for me. And now as a result, the guy from the Philippines was dialing for six hours a day, every single day, and was handing me three to five warm and qualified seller leads every single day without fail. And what I mean by that is I no longer needed to do this portion of my business. I no longer had to dig through the rubbish and all the homeowners that don't want to sell, my ISA was doing that for me and just presenting me the ones that did want to sell within a year on a silver platter. And then it was up to me to follow up with them to set the appointment, go on the appointment and fulfill the transaction. Within the first two months, I paid my ISA about $1,200 and I ended up making $30,000. I thought the ROI was so insane. I actually ended up hiring three ISAs to lead generate for me. So in stage one of the listing machine, I was literally getting a minimum of three warm leads per ISA that I had. And again, warm to me meant they wanted to sell within a year. Once you start getting way too many leads, you need to graduate up to stage two of the listing machine. And this is where you either hire a new ISA or just use one of the ones that are lead generating for you and graduate them to become a lead manager and follow up for you. You don't wanna be spending all your time following up with people that wanna move in two years, in three years, in four, five years. That's a huge waste of time for you. And this is no better than having to cold call random homeowners that have no plans on selling. You wanna focus your time on only following up with the people that want to move like within six, 
maybe eight months, because your goal is now to follow up with the warmest of leads and set appointments with them. The follow-up ISA's job is to follow up with all the leads within your CRM and get time updates on your leads. So your follow-up ISA goes, hey, Bob, you spoke to Aaron about uh, a year ago. It looks like you guys were talking about um, getting your home sold so you can move over to Arkansas in three years. Is that still the plan? And again, this ISA's job is to get a time update so that your leads and your CRM are all updated. This ISA's job is to make sure that your leads do not slip through the cracks. Because again, you are only following up with the warmest of leads. In stage two of the listing machine, you are still responsible of attending your appointments to go close them and fulfill the transaction. Because actually, if you think about it, setting the appointment, going to the appointment and getting the agreement signed and getting your listing under contract with a buyer are the top dollar per hour producing activities you could be doing. So you wanna be slowly building yourself towards that goal. Now, once you have stage two fully running, you have three options for stage three. And there's no right way of doing this. This really depends on how you would like to design your business. So here's option A. It's the listing partner. And this is actually the model that I have been experimenting with for the last few months. So the ISAs are still lead generating for you and following up for you. That's still the same. The only difference is that you now have a listing partner. You're not paying the listing partner anything out of pocket. This is a 50-50 deal that you strike with the listing partner where you are setting appointments for this listing partner and you are making them go on the appointments and then close out the transaction. So in this partnership, your job is to run this portion of the machine, the lead generation and appointment setting part of the, of the business. And your listing partner, their job is to go on the appointments, close them on the appointment and get that house closed and sold. Now you wanna make sure that your partner is a closer. You wanna make sure that they've joined my accelerator program so they know how to close the sellers the first time they're there. You wanna make sure your partner knows how to price coach your sellers and have conversations with them that may be difficult, but actually ends up getting the house sold because they're able to create proper expectations with your seller price-wise so that their listing is set up for success and not just taking listings just to take listings. We do not take overpriced listings here. There are many things that I've learned doing this, like you do not want to co-list. You do not want to attach yourself to this transaction. You don't want the seller to think that you are part of this transaction. I'm not gonna go into details here, but I had to learn that the hard way. So stage three, option B, is having a hired listing assistant. Now, this is a model that a good friend of mine is uh, running, Alex Bradshaw. That guy's absolutely crushing it. And this makes a lot of sense. So again, you've got a lead generation ISA, a ISAs, and you have follow-up ISAs. Option A with the listing partner, it involves less of you in the transaction, which, which also involves you are taking less of the commission. In this one, you are more involved. You are still setting the appointments, you are going on the appointments, and you are somewhat fulfilling the transaction. Now, what I've seen is a licensed assistant for a, sal a paid salary position plus a small commission at closing, they will help you fulfill the transaction. Now, it's gonna be important for you to keep mentioning your licensed assistant during the appointment while you're setting up expectations for the seller to let them know that you are not the only one a part of this transaction. You have a listing assistant to help you do this. So you're pre-framing and setting expectations that this is the person that's gonna be helping you facilitate the transaction. And this is gonna allow you to let go of a lot of the responsibilities and like the time sucks of having a listing. You're not gonna be the one that the seller is using as a therapist. You're not gonna be the one that has to drive out there for an open house. You're not gonna be the one that's driving out there to refill the flyers in the yard sign. No, 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 no. The licensed assistant is doing all that for you. I remember attending my master practitioner training over in Dallas. It was a week long program and I happened to have two listings of mine have an offer review date on one on the same day on one of those days. And I kept having to step outside of the room missing out on valuable information that I was there to learn because I was fielding a bunch of calls from both of my sellers and a hundred other agents wanting to ask me questions about how to win their offer to get the house, uh, to get the house for the buyer. And I was so frustrated and I was so bothered by this that I was like, there needs to be someone to, to facilitate 
the fulfillment of the transaction. Like getting all the septic shit in order, getting all the inspection shit in order, it was not the highest and best use of my time. I knew I had to have delegation and leverage and either that listing partner or a licensed assistant fulfills that role. The benefit of a hired licensed assistant is that you are not giving 50% of your commission to someone else. If you take a $20,000, $30,000 listing, you are giving $10,000, $15,000 to that listing partner. And if that's the model you want to run, great. But I personally would rather do a little more work and only have to pay $2,500 a month plus a small commission. And stage three option C of the listing machine is to run a traditional team. So again, the ISAs are lead generating and following up and you are going to find a young and driven new agent for you to train to become you. And this agent, it could be a 50-50, a 60-40, a 70-30, whichever way you wanna do it, this agent is going to be following up to set appointments they're going to be going on the appointment and they're gonna be following, uh, uh, fulfilling the transaction for you. You can have one of these agents, you can have a bunch of these agents, but you wanna make sure that these agents are dialed in and trained to close. You don't just wanna pick up a new agent off the side of the road and just send them on appointments. You're setting yourself up for failure because most agents do not know how to be proper listing agents. There's a larger learning curve to be a successful listing agent and they need to be properly trained. If you or an agent you know wants to be that agent or the listing partner, either you or that agent should sign up for my accelerator program to learn how to become that closer for both the appointment setting and the presentation. If you've been watching my Instagram stories and my YouTube videos, you've seen I have a ton, literally a shit ton of testimonials of agents who are brand new taking listings left and right, all because they learned the framework of conversion and the closer's presentation. But now I also have something new to offer you. I am now offering the listing machine as a product and service to teach you. If you wanna cut down your learning curve to zero and learn exactly how to find an ISA, how to interview, train, find, manage all your ISAs. If you wanna understand what kind of systems to set up for yourself. If you wanna just be able to hand the ISA a video to watch to train them to be your guy. If you want your hand held to build your listing machine up to a stage three. If you're tired of doing all the bullshit of all this shit, if you wanna start earning some freedom and your own time back by starting a stage one and stage two and getting your hand held to build out a stage three so you get all your time back, if you wanna be able to create more listings than you ever have in your life, then click the link in the description below for more information about the listing machine. This is the exact system that I'm gonna be using this entire year to have the biggest and best year that I have ever had. So again, click the link below in the description to get more info of the listing machine. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.